Discover the most mysterious country in the world. Imagine traveling to a hospitable country with an extraordinary culture, unique cuisine, and beautiful Asian and Russian women eager to give you affection and love. Meet Kazakhstan, a country located in Central Asia. Its borders are shared with Russia to the north, China to the east, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan to the south, and it also borders the Caspian Sea to the west. Its capital is Nur Sultan, formerly known as Astana. Its population is around 19 million, and its territorial expanse is 2,724,900 square kilometers. It is the world's largest landlocked country. In Central Asia, there are several countries that end with the suffix stan. Do you know why? Well, in this region, the most spoken languages are Hindi, Persian, and Kyrgyz. The suffix stan means the place of residence of a particular people or ethnicity. According to this principle, Kazakhstan, for example, means territory of the Kazakhs, Kyrgyzstan, territory of the Kyrgyz, Afghanistan, territory of the Afghan and so on. Only Pakistan does not fit this rule. The history of this people is filled with pilgrimage, as their ancestors lived as nomads. The region that is now Kazakhstan was inhabited by nomadic tribes since ancient times. The Scythians and the Sarmatians are some of the best-known tribes that occupied the region. In the 13th century, the region was conquered by the Mongols, led by Genghis Khan. Later, it became part of the vast Mongol Empire. After the decline of the Mongol Empire, the territory of Kazakhstan was divided into various Khans and Khanat such as the Khanati of Kazan and the Khanati of Siberia. These states were generally ruled by local leaders or nomadic tribes. In the 18th century, Kazakhstan came under the rule of the Russian Empire after a series of wars and treaties. During Russian rule, there was a large migration of Russians to the region, and Kazakhstan became an important part of the Russian economy, providing natural resources and land for agriculture. After the Russian Revolution of 1917, Kazakhstan became part of the Soviet Union. During the Soviet period, the Kazakhstan Kazakh economy was collectivized and industrialized, and there was a massive migration of Russians and other ethnicities to the region, resulting in a diverse population. With the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991, Kazakhstan declared independence. Nur Sultan Nazarbayev became the country's first president and led the transition to an independent state. Since then, Kazakhstan has worked to develop its economy and strengthen its national identity while maintaining close ties with its neighbors and other countries. Nazarbayev remained in power until 2019, when he resigned as president, succeeded by Qasim Jamart Tokayev. Kazakhstan's culture is rich and vibrant, with a unique blend of nomadic, Islamic, and Russian influences. The Kazakh people are known for their hospitality, generosity, and love for music, dance, and poetry. Kazakhstan's nomadic past has profoundly shaped its culture. The tradition of the yurt, a type of portable dwelling, is still alive, and horse riding is a popular sport. Yurts, also known as gears, are circular portable dwellings traditionally used by nomadic peoples of Central Asia, such as the Kazakhs, Mongols, and Kyrgyz. They offer versatile and adaptable shelter, appreciated for their practicality, efficiency, and comfort in varied climates. Yurts have lattice wood walls covered with weather-resistant felt or fabric. They also have a conical roof with an opening at the top for ventilation and smoke release, as well as a wooden door with a reinforced frame. The modular structure allows for easy assembly and disassembly, ideal for the nomadic lifestyle. The spacious interior is typically divided into functional areas such as sleeping quarters, kitchen, and living room. Functional furniture and carpets contribute to comfort and thermal insulation. The central fireplace provides warmth and is used for cooking. Yurts offer several benefits such as ease of transportation and adaptation to different environments. They withstand strong winds, snow, and rain. Additionally, they have good thermal insulation, maintaining coolness in summer and warmth in winter. Currently, yurts are used as tourist accommodations in environments environmentally friendly locations. They are also utilized in events, workshops, and temporary spaces. The cultural heritage of yurts is celebrated at festivals and folklore events. Kazakh folk music, with instruments like the dombra, a string instrument, and the kobis, a bowed instrument, is rich and expressive. Islam is the predominant religion in Kazakhstan, but the country is secular and tolerant of other religions. There is a large Russian Orthodox community in the country, and other religions such as Buddhism and Judaism are also practiced. Official language of Kazakhstan is Kazakh, a Turkic language. Russian is also widely spoken, especially in cities. English is becoming increasingly popular, especially among the younger generations. New Year is the main celebration in Kazakhstan, celebrated in March with bonfires, games, and traditional foods. Other important holidays include Independence Day, December 16th, and Victory Day, May 9th. Kazakh cuisine is rich in meat, with dishes like beshbarmak, a type of horse or lamb meat with noodles, and kuirdak, a type of stuffed lamb's tripe. 
Bread is a staple food in the Kazakh diet, and tea is a popular beverage. Kazakhstan has a rich tradition of arts and crafts, including carpets, jewelry, ceramics, and wood sculpture. Folk music and dance are very popular, and the country has a number of theaters and operas. Additionally, the Kazakh people are known for their hospitality and generosity. It is common to offer tea and food to guests, and visitors are always welcome. Kazakhstan's culture is a fascinating blend of nomadic, Islamic, and Russian traditions. The Kazakh people are welcoming and and proud of their culture, and the country offers visitors a unique and memorable experience. Now, speaking of the women of this country, Kazakh women, like in any country, are a diverse and unique group, with physical and behavioral characteristics that vary according to their ethnic background, region of residence, lifestyle, and other influences. Kazakhstan is a multi-ethnic country, with the majority of the population descended from Turkic groups, such as the Kazakhs. There is a wide variety of appearances among Kazakh women, with different hair colors, eye colors, and skin tones. In general, Kazakh women often have black or brown hair, brown or black eyes, and fair or tan skin. The average height of Kazakh women is about 1.60 meters. Kazakh women are known for their hospitality and generosity. Family is very important to Kazakh women, and they often have close relationships with their parents, children, and siblings. Kazakh women are valued for their education, and many of them have higher education. Kazakh women are increasingly present in the workforce, holding positions in all sectors of the economy. The majority of Kazakh women are Muslim, but there is also a Christian minority and other religions. Kazakh women maintain many traditions of their culture, such as cuisine, music, and folk dance. So it is quite common to see Kazakh women dressed in colorful clothing with a type of hat on their heads. This type of clothing was influenced by various peoples such as Arabs, Mongols, and also Chinese. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and also share this video with anyone you think might be interested, thus helping me bring more documentaries like this every week. Kazakhstan boasts the largest and most robust economy in Central Asia, driven by abundant natural resources and foreign direct investments. It is rich in natural resources, including oil, natural gas, coal, minerals, metals, and arable land. The country is one of the world's leading producers of oil and gas, with large reserves located primarily in the Caspian Sea region. Oil and natural gas are fundamental pillars of the Kazakh economy. The country has invested in infrastructure to explore and export these resources, establishing partnerships with international energy companies. In addition to oil and gas, Kazakhstan is a significant producer of minerals and metals, including uranium, copper, iron, zinc, gold, and others. Mining plays a significant role in the country's economy. Kazakhstan has vast areas of arable land and is a major agricultural producer. Key crops include wheat, barley, cotton, potatoes, fruits, and vegetables. Livestock farming is also an important part of the economy, with cattle, sheep, and horses being raised. The Kazakh government has sought to promote promote economic diversification and industrialization. This includes investments in sectors such as manufacturing, construction, technology, and infrastructure. Kazakhstan has sought to attract foreign investment by establishing special economic zones, offering tax incentives, and streamlining bureaucratic procedures for foreign companies. Despite its resources and economic potential, Kazakhstan faces challenges such as excessive dependence on the energy sector, the need to improve government efficiency and transparency, and the promotion of a more favorable business environment for small and medium-sized enterprises. The currency of Kazakhstan is the Kazakhstani tenge, and one U.S. dollar equals 450 Kazakhstani tenge. So initially the dollar is highly valued against the Kazakhstani currency. But let's see if prices there are more affordable than here in America. Well, for a basic home-cooked meal, one person will spend between $140 and $200. If you explore the city more and start eating in upscale restaurants, you'll spend $300 a month on food. Restaurant meals vary widely from $4 per person to $20 per person. A kilogram of bread costs less than a dollar. Very cheap, right? Milk costs a dollar per liter, and chicken costs $3 per kilogram. Compared to some places in the United States, prices in Kazakhstan are very cheap. If you're thinking of living there, I'll give you the rental costs of some cities. Rents in smaller cities will range from $100 to $160 per month, while in the capital and larger cities, rents will go over $300 for a one-bedroom apartment. Prices are very cheap compared to anywhere in the United States. If you just want to visit Kazakhstan, there are various accommodations at extremely cheap prices. To give you an idea, there are accommodations for less than $20 per day, though visiting this country seems like a great option. Russia currently wields significant influence over the territory of Kazakhstan, although it is no longer part of the same political group as it was in the former Soviet Union. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Kazakhstan was part of the Soviet Union for over 70 years, a period that significantly influenced 
influenced its culture, economy, and politics. The Russian language is still widely used in the country, and a large portion of the population has familial and cultural ties to Russia. Kazakhstan is a member of the Collective Security Treaty Organization and the Eurasian Economic Union, both led by Russia. The relationship between the presidents of the two countries is considered close. However, Kazakhstan seeks to diversify its international relations and strengthen its independence. Russia is Kazakhstan's main trading partner, with a strong presence in the energy, mining, and agriculture sectors. Kazakhstan relies on Russia for access to the Caspian Sea and for the export of its commodities. However, Kazakhstan seeks to diversify its economy and reduce its dependence on Russia. Russian culture has a significant influence in Kazakhstan, especially in areas such as music, literature, and cinema. The Russian language is used in education and media, and many people in Kazakhstan are bilingual in Russian and Kazakh. However, Kazakhstan seeks to strengthen its cultural identity and promote Kazakh language and traditions. So despite not being part of the Soviet Union, Kazakhstan is heavily influenced by Russia and its worldview. Now, another impressive aspect of Kazakhstan is its geography. Kazakhstan is a country located in Central Asia, with diverse geography that includes vast steppes, mountains, deserts, and a coastal strip along the Caspian Sea. It shares borders with Russia to the north, China to the east, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, and Turkmenistan to the south, and has a coastline on the Caspian Sea to the west. Most of Kazakhstan's territory consists of vast plains and steppes, covering approximately two-thirds of the country. These vast areas are distinctive features of the Kazakh landscape, providing a conducive environment for agriculture and pastoralism. In the extreme southeast of the country, the steppes give way to mountains and plateaus. The Altai Mountains in the east are are an extension of Russia's Altai Mountains and offer spectacular landscapes and opportunities for outdoor activities such as trekking and mountaineering. In the south of Kazakhstan lies the vast Kizilkum Desert, an arid and semi-arid region that extends into Uzbekistan. This desert is characterized by sand dunes, rocky plains, and sparse vegetation. Kazakhstan has a small portion of coastline along the Caspian Sea, the world's largest saltwater lake. This area is strategically important for the country as it provides access to natural resources such as oil and gas and is a center of industrial and maritime transport activities. Kazakhstan's climate varies from continental temperate in the north to semi-arid in the south. Temperatures can be extreme with cold winters and hot summers. Climatic conditions are influenced by the country's continentality, altitude, and varied topography. Despite having some important rivers, such as the Ural River, the Irtysh River, and the Sir Darya River, Kazakhstan faces challenges related to water availability, especially in the southern areas. Water resource management is an important issue for the country's sustainable development. Indeed, Kazakhstan's geography is diverse and offers a variety of natural landscapes, from vast steppes to imposing mountains and arid deserts. This geographic diversity plays a crucial role in the economy, culture, and everyday life of the Kazakhs. Indeed, Kazakhstan is an Asian country full of curiosities and mysteries that we rarely hear about, but it contains beautiful landscapes, women, a rich history, and culture. What do you think of Kazakhstan? Would you live in this country and become a citizen of Kazakhstan or just visit? Comment below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and also share this video with anyone you think might be interested, thus helping me to continue bringing more documentaries like this every week. Now, on your screen, a very interesting video is appearing showing the most isolated country in the world. I'll leave it here for now, until the next video.